Cypher deck and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999. I am on Himir, the warrior of the dwarf faction race. What? What? Oh, I'm not good with that stuff. Anyway, you can see I am in Kale at level 20 and I'm done. <laughs> in a Vindy raid. You won't see Vindy in this video because uh, there was a skirmish, if you will, a concession, I, I think, of the Vindy himself, or I think it was actually just Paradigm Shift was here before us, and they ended up getting him pulled before we could get him pulled. Either, I, I think that's how it was. Either way, they ended up getting up here. I was able to get faction on a lot of the mobs, and then whenever we left, I uh, was ported out by Mavis, uh, also known as Richard Heat. We ended up getting out to the Awakening Lands port whenever he ported me. He, uh, he went off, and then I came back in to see if I could find any more action, and I was not able to. So, I was actually asking if anyone was camping anything, and if I could come and tag mobs. Eternal Sovereign was just ending at the plate house. So, I was able to come up and join them, and they killed one mob. I got a tag on it. Was able to then get a port out by them to Great Divide, because that's where they were heading. Got to Great Divide. There was a wizard that was there. I cannot remember remember his name for the life of me anyway he ended up helping me get faction uh for a while and also gave me the heads and i was able to buy the toes from him toes the reason i bought them is that they do sell to a merchant where i do not believe the heads do and i was very thankful for that i just want to thank everyone who helped me tonight mavis of course eternal sovereign and of course that wizard but also i wanted to talk to you guys about this UI that I have going on. This is Duxa UI, of course, and I wanted to explain my setup uh, since you can see it. Um, you may not see that I'm actually taking any damage, but if you go from the top center, the, there is a section where you'll see that I'm getting updates or getting abilities. That is where I have all my Rampage and my uh, Enrage, my um, my um, yeah, what's it called? Uh, there's a third one. Anyway, that's where all those messages were, will go as well. On the left of it, you will see it says them. That is me doing damage to them. The right side is says me, and that is the damage that is happening to me. Also, in the bottom, you'll see that I have from left to right... I have my hot bars or hot buttons as well as my inventory available to me. I usually have a shield that goes into the slot um, that uh, if you go to the next hot bar, the second set of uh, where you can see the bag and the open slot, I usually throw a shield in between each, uh, each time bash is available instead of doing a kick. That way I can get my bash up. Also, it is better for whenever mobs are casting, and I don't believe Kick actually gets an element of stun or anything along those lines or interrupt until higher levels, so I felt that this was the better way to go. Does it affect my actual DPS? Probably, uh, but I am not really worried about that so much. I enjoyed the fact that I was able to come out here, be with all these people, got to talk to a few of them, and um, just, I mean, the fact that I was even able to join them, the fact that they kept up coming up to me and laughing, and also a guildy who was here is like, are you serious? <laughs> so, I mean, it's really cool that, uh, that I was able to come up here, and I made sure that I stayed away from the wall on the left-hand side, stayed on the right, and then uh, that way I wouldn't be pulling... Uh, low level aggro uh, onto these people and uh, getting them or myself killed. It's just all fun all around. So I uh, I'm happy. I and I, you know I keep saying that I'm enjoying it, but I truly am. I'm having so much fun in EverQuest, and I know I have a lot of alts. I know I have a lot of tunes, but to be honest. This is how I have fun in the game, is I have alts of different levels, I'm able to group with my friends of different levels, and that is pretty much just where I'm at right now. 
So what you may be asking, what's next? What's the big thing? Hopefully next time you see this character, he will be in 90% Coldane armor. And then I will be heading over to Dragon Necropolis to try to see if I can't get an infestation. If you or your guild is going to be doing uh, Valfang anytime soon and you don't mind hitting me up in the DMs, uh, I would love to come out and if no one else needs that sword, if I could grab it, that would be amazing. Uh, I just want to have fun with this warrior and I'm trying to make him the best that he can be. And I already have a whip on him, the uh, spined whip that has the blinding on it. And I also have a um, venomous axe of the villian brood in my offhand whenever I'm actually geared. So I just want to make sure that I progress this character. And while I'm doing it early on, I feel the better I am geared, the better I tank and so much more. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.